The death of Solomon was the end of an age. He was the wisest king to rule ancient Israel, although he did make more than his fair share of mistakes. His reputation for wisdom was so great that it got the attention of the Queen of Sheba. Unfortunately, Solomon's son Rehoboam did not follow in his father's footsteps. According to the Bible, Rehoboam made foolish policy decisions that split the country into two kingdoms. He kept the smaller section, which we know of as the southern kingdom of Judah, and the north fell into the hands of Jeroboam and would become the northern kingdom of Israel. Despite its political problems, Israel was a wealthy nation due to the trade routes that passed through this part of the ancient Middle East. That made it a tempting target for foreign invaders. Five years after Solomon's death, Shishak of Egypt invaded Palestine, and the Bible tells us that the Pharaoh defeated a number of cities and exacted tribute from Rehoboam. In the fifth year of King Rehoboam, Shishak, king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem. He took away the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house. He took away everything. As with anything else in the Bible, we want to ask the question, is there any kind of independent confirmation of this event? And the answer is yes. It begins with a record of Shishak's military campaign that he recorded at Karnak Temple. Karnak Temple is a temple complex near Luxor, Egypt. Beginning around 2000 BC, pharaohs built various sacred structures, including temples, shrines, and other buildings such as the Great Hippostyle Hall. Today, this is one of the most visited historical sites in Egypt, second only to the pyramids at Giza. There's one structure in particular at Karnak Temple known as the Bubastite Portal. It records the names of Shishak's conquests around 925 BC during his campaign in Palestine. The cities Shishak conquered are depicted with their names in cartouches, along with the image of a captive with his hands tied behind his back. Unfortunately, many of the names can't be read because of erosion that's taken place over the last 3,000 years but scholars are able to read more than 100 of the remaining place names. The Bible records that Shishak invaded Israel and defeated a number of towns and cities. The names of many of these places can be found recorded at Karnak Temple. But there's another discovery that confirms the historical certainty of Shishak's campaign. It was a fragment of a stela that archaeologists found in the city of Megiddo in 1925. This fragment was part of a monument that commemorated Shishak's victory over the city, and we know that it belonged to Shishak because it clearly bears his name. The pharaoh's name is well known from a variety of sources, which include this fragment, the Bubastite portal at Karnak Temple, and a funerary artifact known as a canopic chest, which would have been originally located in the pharaoh's tomb. So there's no doubt that the Bible is spot on when describing the Egyptian invasion of Israel and Judah. We've got the biblical text, independently confirmed by historical records in Egypt and an archaeological discovery at Megiddo. When it comes to establishing the historicity of an ancient event, Shishak's invasion is about as certain as you can possibly get.